moving on actually and talking about being happy i saw this picture of flipping kanye west and his wife bianca and i was like you know what Ye is living kanye you know now known as flipping Ye or Ye for me known as kanye west is absolutely living he's out there traveling around the world going to parts you know i think last time we checked i think he was in tokyo and now he happens to be in italy he's just doing he's just living life the way you should be living it and to me this is what you should be doing if you have fuck you money he shouldn't be doing what he was doing a few years ago where it seemed like he was incredibly jealous of drake's success and wanted to like you know compete with him on that level but he also clearly didn't want to do the work that that drake does to be that big of a star or to be likable whatever it may be right he's not going to play that game because yeah he's going to always be yay so it's good to see that he's finally accepted his status which is a legend right but he's also not willing to kind of play the game you know as an artist and be dropping music all the time doing interviews always in a studio like just kind of you know just out and about living whenever inspiration strikes i'm sure because he's got the means he's going to do as much as he can to flip in you know make the flipping tunes and put those out there i'm pretty sure that's something that he's going to end up doing also so i'm a big fan of him doing those type of things so big up him for that but just in general it's just good to see him kind of happy good to see him clearly in a good mood and living life and this is a picture as you can see here of um, kanye somewhere in italy he looks absolutely happy he looks really elated it's good to see the smile uh, back on his face and um, he's out here wearing this flipping amazing little jesus piece actually which i'm a big fan of i forgot i think the brand is called like 1989 um, it got featured recently on Twitter. Oh, wow, there's a nipple there. I've got to hide that. Um, he got featured recently on Twitter and um, it instantly sold out. So the power of Ye is really, um, you know, in all, it knows no bounds, really. He wore this random chain with a Jesus piece on it and now all of a sudden it's sold out. So it's a really nice chain because I think it comes in this sort of like choker length where it just, you know, it's a bit tighter around your neck and there's also kind of a longer version, like kind of like a classic sort of Jesus piece. But that looks really cool. But the really interesting thing about Kanye nowadays when he's out and about with his wife is the fact that he's not wearing any shoes. Kanye is out here raw dog in the floor when he's out and about living life with his flipping missus in flipping Italy, perusing around the streets. That's what he's doing. He's raw dog in the floor. And I'm really interested to see what this is about because I remember there was a time in my life when I was doing this. It, it only lasted like a couple of days, but there was a period in my life where I was flipping obsessed, obsessed with um what's his fucking name? Kelly Starrett. That's his name. Kelly Starrett, who's got this book called um oh i forgot the book's name but essentially he's like a movement guy he's all about um he's all about making sure that you've got full range of motion he kind of advises different protocols and stretches you can do like a couch stretch to sort of like open up your what your hips and your your hip flexor and your ankles um he advises people to squat with their knees out and heels on the floor he's all about all that good stuff right and basically you know the i think the whole premise behind it is that if you have good range of motion without using weights and without doing extraneous workouts when you then need to go under heavy weights or do extraneous workouts you can do them with ease because you've got the full range of motion to get the most out of you know your body and whatnot so there was a time in that saying long time you know again less story long long story less long where people were talking about grounding where essentially you'd walk around barefooted in terms you know to kind of you know ground you to the floor and shit to make you one with your environment and I remember there was a time in my life where I would walk around the parts of area that, of London where I'm from, which is really rough, right? With, you know, barefooted and shit, right? Because I thought I was like, you know, I was enlightened and I was grounding myself and I was basically freeing my feet from the shackles of shoes and shit. That was like a thing people were talking about because I think Kelly Starrett would say, and I think a few other people, I think... um what's his name Ido Portal I don't know if you guys remember Ido Portal but Ido Portal was this uh, movement coach 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 who still is around now at the moment I'm pretty sure and he did some work with Conor McGregor back in the day but he's basically known for being somebody that kind of you know um pr practice you know preaches about making sure that your feet are sort of like free from shoes most of the time so that you can kind of you know get your feet back to how they should be and the premise around it is that your, your feet should be like your your feet should be spread out. They shouldn't be all like clumped up at how you are on shoes. And um, I did that for a bit. And it was funny to see the looks I used to get in my area when I'd walk around barefooted. People were looking at me like a madman. It's interesting to honestly, like all you got to do, because Kanye in this picture, right, is wearing a pretty decent outfit. 
in my opinion, right? The outfit, let's not make sure I show them on nipple, but the outfit is pretty sick, right? And like a nice suit with a chain on and shit. He looks good. And all he's got that's different from what he usually would wear is shoes. But if you go outside, it's interesting as an experiment. Go outside and just wear a regular outfit that you usually would wear, but just don't wear shoes. And you'll see the looks you'll get from people. They just look at you like you're a madman, like you lost the plot. But actually, walking around with your, without any shoes on is actually the most freeing thing ever. Like getting your feet actually used to touching the ground, you know, developing some callus, some calluses or whatever that word's called, you know, just toughening them up a little bit, letting your toes breathe, um, you know, rebuilding the arch. Because I remember that was a thing that I used to suffer from a lot. My feet were really kind of flat and wide and sometimes I had no arch um, and my ankles were really tight. But then when I switched my shoes and started wearing shoes with not a lot of kind of, you know, thick not a thick sole zero drop shoes which basically means that the sole is all one level because usually most modern sneakers the heel is a bit higher than the forefoot so you'd wear like a zero drop shoe and i feel like my foot has improved and i've now got an arch now and i think all of that is because i spent a lot of time squatting in a gym with no with no shoes on I always wear my socks and shit or i'd go with my vans all that sort of stuff kind of helps to kind of get your feet grounded so it's funny to see Kanye out and about doing this type of shit because I think most people wouldn't really rock with it. But he's really fucking backing it. Like, he's not giving up. Like, he's been everywhere around Italy, as you can see from this Twitter post, barefooted, essentially. He's got these shoes that he wears. No, these are not even shoes. These are socks. Yeah, he's got socks. So it looks like Kanye's been building up to it. He's been wearing those aqua shoes that he's designed for Yeezy, those new season Yeezy shoes that look like aqua shoes. Then he's went to socks. And and then he slowly but surely got the courage to go outside with no shoes on. But again, it helps if you've got fuck you money, right? If you've got fuck you money, no one's going to look at you different. Like here's his wife with no shoes on also. But I guess if you're a guy like me, walking around ends with no shoes on, people are like, hey, Ag, are you all right? Is everything good at home, bro? Like, well, go on. Do you need some help, bro? Do you need some money? <laughs> Do you... <laughs> Should I buy you a pair of shoes? Do you need some sandals? Like, but yeah, Kanye is out here with those, you know, he's got a fat big toe in it, huh? He's got that good big toe nail there. Kanye's feet are like, you know, interesting to look at. <laughs> and yeah, here he is again with his feet out. So yeah, he's living the life. He's doing the thing, man. And I'm I'm all for it. I love it. I'm all for it. I'm not going to lie. I'm all for Kanye being out there with his feet out, living a good life with fuck you money. Because I feel like that's what you should be doing when you got fuck you money. You should be living your life, going out around the town or traveling the world with your partner, with your friend. You know, you're in Tokyo, now he's in Italy. He might go back to Paris. He might be in France. Well, you know, he might come back to New York and shit. All that stuff is amazing. That's what you should be doing when you got the money that he has. And then I think we've got a couple other pictures here of Kanye out of his wife having a good time and then my favorite pictures are these ones because you know Kanye's got that look in his eye right he's got that fucking he's got that devil's look in his eye there right you know what time he's on he's out with his wife and his her, her, you know his wife's friend he's probably thinking to himself Jesus bro I would tear up the wife's friend you gotta keep those impure thoughts out of your head though you gotta act like your wife's friend doesn't exist you just got to kind of look through her or look above her head. But you can't be doing what Kanye is doing now. He's giving her those hungry eyes, isn't it? Those, rrr, rrr, those devouring eyes. That's what he's giving her, bro. You know? It's funny, though, because she's got, she's got a very um, Love Island kind of face, you know, Bianca's friend. But then the fashion is a bit different, no? It's, a, it's kind of Love Island-y look, but then the fashion is a bit different. There's another picture here you can see. Kanye doing what I do, right? This is me usually when I'm outside. I'm always fucking checking out girls, but usually because I'm checking out their outfits because I'm a little fucking fashion whore deep down, right? I've got a passion for fashion. So I'm checking out their shoes. I'm checking out their outfits. I'm checking out the fucking, you know, the hems, the finishes, the layers, the handbags, the nails. That's what I'm usually doing. So Kanye is either giving gay best friend or guy that secretly wants to fuck you know you don't know what he's looking at is he looking at the feet does he want the feet around he's flipping dangalang like what's going on right now do you know what i mean because he's giving those feet those mean look you know what i mean he's like yo those feet are looking good you know what i mean he's all in it he's all in it Kanye. all in it and the wife is there behind like wait babes i'm coming please wait for me but yeah this fashion is very interesting, isn't it? With the fucking tights and the heels and shit. It's a very peculiar look, to be honest. But yeah, big up fucking Kanye, living the life, you know, 
do, at least giving me hope that I can stare, you know, innocently at women's shoes and not be looked at as a creep from afar, hopefully. But I think it's different for me because I'm not kind yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I keep staring at how a woman I don't know too long, especially at their feet with that kind of look in my eye, right? They might call 999, mate. They might dial 999 if I do this. So I have to kind of play my cards right. I can't play the same games that Kanye plays, unfortunately. The rules are not the same for me, unfortunately. I wish they were, but they just are not the same for me. <laughs> I can't play those games. I have to just, you know, I have to just keep it sweet, keep it humble. And then, um, you know, and then kind of move on. That's all I have to do. Keep it sweet, keep it humble. And then, of course, move 